Greetings and salutations. My name is Ms. Mac and this is not a typical uh, normal video for me. Uh, please forgive me as I have no intention of editing this video. So if I stumble over my words or pause to gather my thoughts, my apologies in advance. Um, but I really wanted to sit down with you guys. I really wanted to just have a bit of a one-on-one, -on -one, no edits, no cuts, no gimmicks. <laughs> Um, to just go over a couple of things, go over a couple of life updates, as I'm sure some of you have noticed, I've been missing a lot of videos recently, and that is because there is a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, and this is all relevant to you as well. So this is all relevant to my channel. So I'm not just sitting here rambling like a madman. I promise this all has a point. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's start off, I guess, with where I've been, because I cancelled last week's video, I cancelled yesterday's video, and today's video is not a typical upload. So What's going on, Ms. Mac? What, what's happening? A couple of people have even asked me if I'm gearing up to quit. Um, short answer, no. <laughs> you would have to pry my YouTube password from my cold, dead hands before I would even consider quitting this platform. I very, very much love what I do. I very, very much am all 100% in. Um, it, and I hate canceling videos. That's like something I, I always like get about because people are like, oh my God, take a break, take a break. But I'm like, no. Because uh, <laughs> I love making videos. Um, I love making videos for you guys and making you guys smile and laugh. So no, I haven't been canceling because I'm gearing up to quit. I have no intention of quitting. Um, last week, I honestly was just really, really sick. I could barely even get out of bed to feed myself let alone <laughs> um, get out of bed to edit YouTube videos. So that's where videos went last week. Um, and then this week, uh, a lot went down yesterday. I had a bit of a family emergency yesterday. And on top of that, I um, found out that the place I am currently living is in a two months time, no longer going to be affordable for me. Um, so on top of that emergency, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to figure out my living situation. Um, so yeah, that's where videos have been. Again, not quitting. <laughs> um, that's not happening anytime soon. YouTube is my passion and my love and my joy. Um, and if I can turn this, I'm going to fight tooth and nail to turn this into my full-time career because this is honestly all I want to do with my life. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a summary of where I have been. Um, life update though. Let's talk about the future because that's what's more important um, and sort of my overall point for today's video. As I mentioned before, I can no longer live in the place that I'm currently living. I have until about August, September um, to move out. Um, and in case you weren't aware, in Australia, there is currently a cost of living crisis. Um, so at the moment, it's just me and my partner. We live where we currently live and um, yeah, the price of everything has been kicking us in the butt really, really bad. And we both work full time. Um, <laughs> so um, we've both decided that we are, or at least, you know, going to be moving away and we're probably not going to be getting a house with just the two of us for a little while. Um, for me, what that means and for you, what that means is I'm going to be moving back in with my parents. Um, which I'm not going to lie, I'm very, very scared and anxious and nervous because uh, when I'm here and it's just me and my partner, I don't really have to worry as much about what I'm saying, how much I swear, the volume of my voice. Uh, <laughs> so moving back in and having to be more conscious of my family and the other people living there um, is definitely going to be a challenge. Um, my parents are actually also moving out of their place in September. So as far as what moving means for the channel, um, for the next few months, it should just be business as usual. Videos will just come out as per usual and I will still be living in this little zone. So that's all going to be fine and normal. I'm hoping that by the time the move comes around, I will have enough videos set up in advance or recorded in advance that um, there should be no break or cut in videos when I am moving. Um, it again should be business as usual. It's when I move into the new place, that's when I'm going to encounter an entirely new set of problems. Um, 
I'm just, I'm hoping it's, it's honestly at this point, it's all reliant on the layout of the house and sort of where everybody is and where everybody sleeps. Uh, <laughs> Cause again, like, as I said, like being conscious of other people and, um, you know, soundproofing and whatnot is, is, is a concern that I have been considering and, I'm preparing for so I'm hoping that everything or at least it's big enough or I'm far away enough from everybody that um when I do when we do move into this place all I'm going to have to do is some basic soundproofing and it should just be business as normal um other than that I'm not entirely sure I, I don't want to make any assumptions or speculate just yet because it might just be nothing and I might just be worrying because I'm very much a warrior um I, I know I don't look it but <laughs> I very much get very 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 anxious and catastrophize a lot um so I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> try and worry too much um, the only thing I can say in terms of changes that I'm, I'm pretty sure are going to happen is I have a funny little feeling that I'm not going to be able to stream anymore. Um, obviously, that's not confirmed, but my parents, ever since I lived with them last time, they have had a baby and babies go to sleep at a very early time and should not be disturbed when they sleep. Otherwise, it is a nightmare for everybody involved. So that probably means no more late night streams. Um, and I work during the day, so daytime streams are probably a no-go. Um, if it does come to the case that I do have to quit streams, um, I do have, I already have a backup plan because of course I do. It's been 24 hours. Of course, Ms. Mac already has a backup plan. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'm not going to lie. I, I think it's a stroke of genius. Okay. I, I think it's really, really good, but I guess you guys are just going to have to wait and see what it is. Um, and if I even have to use it at all, because if not, I just might keep it in my little bag of tricks. Um, but yeah, that's not all I wanted to talk about. There was one more thing I wanted to update you guys about, um, which is, ooh, this is not official, by the way. This is not official. I'm just sniffing out. I'm just investigating. I'm just looking at my options, okay? Nothing is in any official capacity just yet. I have not pulled any triggers just yet. But with me moving back into my parents' I have been considering going back to school and maybe looking at getting a degree or a certification. Um, I know I talk a lot about how I chose not to go to university and I'm really proud of that point, that that choice. And to this day, I still very, very much am. I'm so, so grateful that I didn't go to university right after high school because A, I would be studying something right now that I would no longer have interest in and B, having those two years where I could just be on my own and be an independent adult and also really focus on YouTube without having anything major like in my way or inhibiting me. It's really solidified for me that this is the career path that I want, that I I still like feel the same way about filming a YouTube video. I still um, get as excited about filming YouTube videos as I did when I first started this whole mess. <laughs> Um, I'm still very, very much passionate, even after two years, a platform change, a complete content change. I'm still, yeah, insanely passionate about what I do and insanely passionate about this platform. So um, YouTube is always going to be the bigger picture for me. But sometimes the thing about YouTube is that for you to get a big or at least big enough that you can make a living off it, it can take people a very long time. It can take people 10 years even. I think some of the biggest creators on this platform took them 10, 12 years um, to even have like an an audience to sustain themselves off of. Um, so I, I have been considering trying other ways to rake in the big bucks in the meantime. So that way, um, by the time I'm in my 30s, I might have money saved and because I've always dreamed of being a homeowner and having a nice, beautiful wedding and all of that typical stuff. Um, so, yeah, looking at other ways to rake in the big bucks in the meantime, going to school. Um, if you're curious <laughs> as to what course you're looking at and what I'm looking at, because I'm sure some of you are, I am looking at becoming a mortician, uh, which is very grim. <laughs> I know, very grim. Um, but it is just a career path that I just speaks to me. Um, not in a weird way. <laughs> not in a weird way, but in a, I would be working by myself alone a lot of the time and it's very methodical and it's very routine and it's very logical and scientific based, which is just something that really speaks to me. Um, so <laughs> that, and I've always had a thing for the weird and the unusual and the odd and all that stuff. So 
yeah, it's it's some it's a it's definitely a, a job that sort of speaks to me and I think would work best, especially for YouTube, because who cares about the digital footprint of, of somebody who who works with who who mortifies people? <laughs> Um, I, I don't think my, my <laughs> footprint, uh, I mean, if anything, it's probably a good thing because it means that I'm, you know, not gloomy all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm thinking about going to school to become a mortician so I can rake in the big bucks in the meantime whilst I try to make this whole YouTube thing work. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's been 10 minutes of me rambling. So in summary, um, I've been sick and having lots of different changes in my life. So that's where I've been. I am going to be moving, so be on the lookout for changes. My goal is to keep as everything as same as possible, okay? I The last thing I want is to cut uploads or cut videos because I, I like my four video schedule. I think it's the best one I've ever done. I think it's perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying to keep that the same as much as possible. Um, and yeah, I might be going to school, but who knows? I... I don't know. I haven't fully decided. I'm only just sniffing around. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little live update. Oh, and while I'm here, thank you so, so much for 700 subscribers. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> like I just, okay. I, so I know I said I wasn't editing, but my disk space so rudely ran out of me right as I was trying to thank you guys for 700 subscribers. So excuse me me um <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers like holy jesus i was sick in bed uh when i first saw it so i was like thank you <laughs> um but no really like it's crazy to me that we're this close to 1k already um it means that we're getting so close to full-time youtube partner at the moment i'm only kind of like an itty bitty youtube partner and not like a full-on youtube partner so i'm not making any money off any ad revenue or anything just yet um but once i hit that 1k mark and i get a certain amount of watch hours i will be which is crazy to think that that is so close and that is going to be such a huge milestone so um thank you if you've been here for a while if you've only been here for a little bit i appreciate appreciate you Either way, um, as I said earlier, this is such a passion of mine, such an amazing, beautiful hobby and craft of mine. I love making these videos from the filming to the recording to the editing to the thumbnails. So thank you for giving me an opportunity to do it. And thank you for giving me a, a platform to do it on. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for being literally the best community that I could literally ever ask for. Um, and yeah, thank you for indulging my craziness. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and bye-bye. <laughs>